Hey everyone, it's Celine from Art of Skincare. I'm a licensed esthetician and I'm a bit of a sunscreen freak. So I've been looking really forward to today's video. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I am pretty dang good about wearing my sunscreen every single day and I credit that to trying a lot of different sunscreens and finding ones that I really enjoy using. So for me, it all comes down to finding a sunscreen that enhances my skin in some way. So whether that be a slightly tinted sunscreen that helps even out my skin tone, maybe blur my large pores, oil control, or if I'm wanting a sunscreen that has a dewy, juicy finish that will look really nice under my makeup, these are things I look for in sunscreens, so that's what I'm going to show to you guys today. So these are all of our acne safe sunscreens. We're going to go through them from the most matte to the most dewy. It just seemed like the most reasonable way to organize them. And I'm also going to swatch them all on my own face. You'll see that some of them don't really work on my skin tone because I'm super, super fair. But I think that just kind of helps in you guys figuring out what will be at what will be best for you. Before we start this video, I wanna let you know that you can jump to any one of these SPFs by just going to the description of this video and there will be timestamps. So if you just wanna hear about one of these, just go down there and choose it. So let's just jump right in. We're gonna start with the most matte sunscreen. That is Prime and Protect from Art of Skincare. This is the brand that we created. We've had it for a few years now and it is definitely one of our top selling brands at Art of Skincare. So the most unique thing about Prime Protect is it has this very light, moussey feel that goes on very lightweight on the skin and is matte. So this is wonderful for people with oily skin or if you just prefer a matte finish. If you have dry skin but you like a matte finish, you could totally put this on top of your very moisturizing moisturizer. It won't make you feel dried out or anything like that. Prime Protect is SPF 40, comes in tinted and untinted. Because this is a mineral sunscreen, this doesn't work super well for someone with very deep skin. It is going to leave a bit of a cast. Even though this comes in non-tinted and tinted, I usually recommend the tinted, even to men, because it's not like makeup coverage. It's just a tint so that the mineral filters blend more easily into your skin and you're less likely, likely to see a white cast. If you do choose to go with a non-tinted, I recommend only choosing it if you have very fair skin because you are gonna see a bit more of a cast. Prime Protect is also water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So I love this for people who are going to be sweating outdoors, getting in the water, anything like that. Moving right along, now we have Skin Perfection from Art of Skincare as well. This one has a very similar texture to Prime Protect, but it is not nearly as matte. It is more of a satin finish, and it is also an SPF of 40, and is also mineral filters. What really sets apart Skin Perfection from Prime and Protect is that it has ceramides and antioxidants. So it's gonna give you a little bit of those nice healthy aging ingredients along with your sunscreen. Now we have Face Reality Ultimate Protection, SPF 28. Again, this is a mineral sunscreen, but it has no tint to it. So I don't recommend it for very deep skin tones or tan skin tones. It is best for fair to medium skin tones. This one is not quite a matte finish, but not quite a dewy finish. It is more of just a natural, somewhere in the middle finish. Next up, we have a favorite sunscreen for anyone who does very active sports outdoors in the summertime. So this is Solarex Clear Zinc. It is an SPF of 50, and this is a blend of chemical and mineral filters. So this gives you some very strong protection against the sun. This is water resistant for 80 minutes, but I do recommend reapplying it if you get fully submerged and you're really swimming in the water quite a bit. This is likely to give you a cast if you have very deep skin. However, if you want that ultimate protection, I know some clients just go ahead and roll with the cast because this is just such a strong protection if you're gonna be in the water in the summertime. Farmhouse Fresh's Elevated Shade. This is such a lovely sunscreen because it has a lot of antioxidants and healthy aging ingredients in here. So it's a great one and done product for someone who wants a moisturizer and SPF in one. This is a mineral sunscreen, SPF of 30, and it will leave a cast if you have deep skin tone. So I do recommend this for fair to medium skin tones. This one has a very similar finish to Ultimate Protection. It is just a really middle of the road natural finish. Another Artist Skincare Sunscreen, this is Daily Zinc. It is an SPF of 40. This is for our sensitive skin folks. This is an amazing sunscreen if you have very sensitive skin and you are, tend to react to a lot of different products. This is just a simple formulation that provides SPF 40 with only mineral filters. This may leave a slight cast if you have a very deep skin tone, so I recommend this for my fair to medium skin clients. 
So I had to throw this sunscreen in here. This is one of my absolute favorite sunscreens. This is the IS Clinical Perfect Tint Powder SPF 40. This is a mineral filter sunscreen and it's a powder. So it has a brush and I like to brush this on over the top of my liquid sunscreen. I don't recommend using a powder sunscreen alone. It's just hard to get full coverage from sun, the sun's rays with just a powder. So this is fantastic to set your makeup, set your sunscreen. It has a very natural finish, even though it's a powder and it doesn't feel dry or kiki. It also has antioxidants in here. So it's just a great product for boosting your sun protection. You can even use it on your scalp and it comes in six different shades. So there's a shade for every skin tone. Face Reality's Daily SPF 30. This is a chemical only sunscreen. It will leave no cast. It is more of a moisturizing, borderline dewy finish sunscreen, but I love this just for all skin types, anyone who wants a nice light sunscreen for daily wear that will not leave a cast. Next up, we have IS Clinical's Eclipse SPF 50 Plus. I love this sunscreen. This is what I use if I want a nice dewy finish because I like that I can set it with my powder sunscreen that I showed you before. This is an SPF 50 plus mineral only filters. I like to use the perfect tint beige. I feel that this works on most skin tones unless you have very warm or yellow undertones because it tends to run a little bit on the pink side. You can also get this in untinted as well. This is a mineral sunscreen, so it has the potential to leave a cast on deeper skin tones. So I'll get to a few more after this that work better on deep skin tones. Next up, we have a very exciting new release for Art of Skin Care. We just started selling this sunscreen. It is the Kinfield Sun Glow Luminizing Sunscreen Lotion, SPF 30. This is mineral only filters. However, it works beautifully on deep skin tones. This has a tint to it. It's a rose gold tint. So it leaves a very luminizing finish on the skin without feeling greasy. And I find that I can use this on all skin tones, except for maybe very, very fair. You'll see when I swatch it on my skin, you'll see that it looks a little bit dark on me. If I wanted to, I could blend it out. But usually I like to mix this with another mineral sunscreen. Dr. Estes Sun Protection Ultra Repair. This is an SPF of 50 plus and a PA plus, 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 plus. So these are Korean terms for it being very full coverage sunscreen. So this sunscreen is special because it uses filters that are only found in Korea. The US hasn't approved new sunscreen filters in many, many years. And so in other countries, they're coming out with some really amazing filters that we just don't have here yet. And this has some of those filters in there. So one thing I love about this sunscreen, there is zero cast with this sunscreen. I feel that Korean sunscreens have really nailed making a sunscreen that doesn't leave a cast. And this one is really special for that. This will leave more of a dewy moisturizing finish on the skin. And it also is packed with peptides and other anti-aging ingredients that really soothe the skin. This is another one that I like. If you want a one and done product, your moisturizer sunscreen in one, I love this Ultra Repair SPF 50. So we'll follow that one up with our other Korean sunscreen. This is the Hop Plus Cushion Sunscreen. It is an SPF 50 plus plus plus. This uses a mixture of mineral and chemical filters, and it is more of a makeup product, but it has such high sunscreen coverage that I'm including it in this category. This I recommend for only people who have fair light to maybe light medium skin tones. Unfortunately, it only comes in one shade and it doesn't work on deeper skin tones. We've been really bugging this company to make something that works better for deep skin tones, but until then, unfortunately, it's just best for those light skin tones. Next up is our best-selling sunscreen. This is Sorella Apothecary Quench Protect. It's an SPF 30. It is mineral filters only. It has a very dewy, healthy finish. This works on almost all skin tones, except for very, very deep, dark skin tones. This has a lovable, light, fresh scent, and it just rubs into the skin so easily. It's easy to know why this is a bestseller for us. Next, we have Clear Choice. This is very similar to Quench and Protect, but I feel that it is even less prone to giving a cast. So I have seen Clear Choice used on very deep, dark skin tones with zero cast, which is very unique for a non-chemical sunscreen. So this is still mineral filters only. When I first started trying this, I almost couldn't believe that this could protect you from the sun because it is, it just completely disappears into your skin. It doesn't look anything like a mineral sunscreen. But now that we've been testing it and using it, I've gone out skating with this sunscreen over my body and I have never burned while I'm wearing this. So now I believe in it. It is amazingly clear, rubs in easily, definitely a dewy finish 
but it has no chemical all zinc coverage. Last but definitely not least is the brand new Sorella SPF. These are the tinted dew drops. These are so special. These come in four different shades and they work on all skin tones. This is mineral only coverage. It is an SPF 50 product and it is dewy. This is glass skin in a bottle. This is gonna make your skin super glowy. You can see it from outer space. For me, it's too glowy because I have super oily skin, but this is amazing for dry to normal skin types. So that is all of them. That is all of our acne safe sunscreen that we carry at AOS. Um, I personally, I always reach for Eclipse, Quench Protect, and Skin Perfection. Those are the three that I have in my closet at all times. Oh, well, and of course, my Perfect Tint, but of course my Perfect Tint is always layered on top of one of those three sunscreens. Leave in the comments if you've tried any of these, if you hate any of these, I wanna hear it all. If you're still not sure which one of these SPFs is perfect for you, definitely either jump in the comments below or reach out to our live chat. If you go to our website, just click the question mark in the corner and we're happy to help you find the perfect sunscreen for you.